Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW and this is Hoarder's Delight 2. Woohoo! Uh, so I have my Cherry Tree Farm. It's three rows going back that way. Uh, I will explain that in a little bit. Uh, what else did I do? Ooh, I did. I finally got the thing. Oh, but in the meantime, oh my gosh, so much stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so I finally went ahead and submitted the last two. This is why I didn't have it in the table. It's because I didn't accept it yet. Oh, so much stress for nothing. And I went ahead and made energy conduits and submitted that as well. So why is that not done? Oh yeah, this. Uh, we just have the sky stone uh, to do and I haven't done that yet gonna have to do that sometime uh, this I went ahead and made these this one has EMC these do not I went ahead and made them this and this just makes sticks I mean that's all you need uh, this is cobble and an apple to craft and this is just stone uh, like two stones makes four stone rods I believe uh, so super easy to craft it was just a matter of getting enough of them and I didn't want to waste time on camera doing that so we are going to do that and get our dark matter and red matter uh, this I am up to 68 percent done with uh, this one I am not very far on <laughs> but I keep submitting the ones that I'm getting from loot bags which is not very much uh this I believe I've submitted two of those as well uh I also went into here I had already made a better barrel so I went ahead and submitted 2001 uh yeah a space barrel 2001 space barrel I don't know it's just something that came to my head when I <laughs> when I was making the pack I don't know and then the mini chests are so adorable uh, so that's just a chest and your crafting table gives you nine mini chests uh, so there's that uh, we can put this on we get an extra heart yay uh, and I think if I did the math correctly in the book you should get ten of the red heart containers ten of the yellow one and ten of the green ones if I did the math correctly uh, you shouldn't have to make those and you should be full up but uh I don't know so oh can we sleep oh no and it's just turned to morning are you kidding me so it's gonna be raining all day oh oh okay so the wall teleporters we got those and it's right there you can see uh in Wayla up at the top it is a wall teleporter base and a wall teleporter wall and I made it look just like the wall. If I, I if I walk into the wall, here I am. So there are the zero point extractors. They are around the. I don't know how close I can get. Uh, so I just put some fence up, and uh, they are around the Quibit cluster. And we got the RF entangler with the RF exciters. I went ahead and put uh, one on each side. I don't know if that helps or not. Uh, and this wall teleporter, if you click it, oh, I guess you don't have to shift. If you click it, okay, let me, uh, let me get the thing. Uh, you'll have to make, oh shoot, wrong, wrong mod. Wall teleporter. Okay, here we go. Duh. Uh, if you, you'll have to make this, a uh, GPS chip. Now, this is the Ender Essence, some green dye. It's super easy to make. So, you can have this. It doesn't have to be connected to a wall. Uh, you can have it wherever. So, you could have your mob spawner, have all the mobs walk into a wall. Or you could even put this in the floor. Have them walk over it. It will teleport them anywhere. So, you could have them teleport over a killing device or in a killing room. Uh, somewhere else so that is really really interesting idea uh, to do it's kind of like the mistcraft walls thing that's what I feel like it it, it is uh, but 
yeah so you want to put this once you right click to link it anywhere in the world or in another dimension uh, you put it there and um, it will ask you to go ahead and accept it if I click that it will unaccept it and then we won't be able to get back up uh, so I don't want to click that uh, you, the ender essence if we do this it takes ender 18 ender pearls to fill up this uh, storage tank but it only takes two ender essence so each ender essence is like nine trips so the ender essence is a lot better than just putting ender pearls in here um, and then I have this coming back so I have it coming back right here so notice it's not really near there I just wanted it back in the house now here are my linked ones you can use the same one if you want uh, like it says right click to unlink but I want to keep those because they're pretty cheap to make so it's not that big a deal uh, so I have that and that is now my um, my power now I have this set here and then I have pipes going here because I want to have my uh, machines here now I went ahead and set this up and don't hate me because I did it off camera but I did so I'm using these mint blocks from Z's tones and I realized because I have the power I could have just ran it off of that uh, but I really didn't want to I kind of wanted to do the extra lava stuff too as well so and you can also use an igneous extruder for the cobble instead of doing the transfer nodes but I also am having it go into the uh, auto compressor but I'll explain that in a second let me go back to the beginning okay so I have a cobble generator right here with a transfer node I've got 10 world interaction upgrades uh, and that is going it's making cobble going into crucibles I have eight of them going I'm not sure if that's enough for all to power all of these or not it seems like maybe it's not it keeps going up and down and I did have this filled but then I added two more uh, magmatic dynamos so I don't know we're gonna have to find out and see this may be just enough to be able to melt them uh, I may have to make blazing pyrothium to put underneath there and to make lava faster I'm not sure but I have eight I have the fluid conduits uh, pulling the lava out going into the tank and it goes all the way around I also had the cobble going into uh, this better barrel so it should be filling up the crucibles first with cobble and then going into the barrel the barrel is then pulling out and I'm using the different colored channels so I chose black for cobble so it is extracting from the barrel on the black channel uh, then it is putting into these three hammers automatic hammers uh, the cobble and that is inserting on the black channel so it's inserting the cobble and it's exporting on the gray channel which is gravel so I choose colors that are very similar to what is coming out of uh, the machine or uh, like I make gravel gray uh, sand yellow and dust white I always do it that way so that way I can think okay I want cobble going in and gravel coming out uh, so I have three of them making uh, gravel uh, you can do it with just one but I prefer to do it this way then I have two of these inserting the gravel and exporting the sand so I have two of them making sand for me and one of them importing sand and exporting dust then on these automatic sieves I have one importing gravel one importing sand and one importing dust and they have little people in them it's so cool I like those 
Uh, so we have inserting gravel on the gray channel and I do have it priority minus two. Uh, so it will go into the hammers first. So that way we always have dust to sieve because you can never have enough redstone. Uh, I always find I can never have enough redstone. Uh, so, so this one is importing uh, dust and exporting on the red channel. So you notice all of them are exporting on the red channel. Uh, so that is everything that gets sifted or all, everything that is produced by sifting these goes into this chest. So I'm using compressed chests because I want a big area and I don't think the diamond chests will be big enough. So we're having them all go into here. Then this uh, auto packager is, I have it set for the two by two and then the three by three because I don't mind if things get compressed that isn't supposed to be like the glowstone, uh, the certus quartz, the blaze rods, the lapis blocks, all of this stuff is either going to be processed or put into, turned into EMC. So it really doesn't matter what block form they're in. I don't care. So we are getting all of these different um, ore blocks that we can then smelt down into ingots. So anything that doesn't get compressed over time, like the spores, the cactus seeds, uh, the bone meal doesn't seem to be, uh, the surface quartz dust, the gunpowder, um, and the skystone dust, I'll be uh, submitting that anyway. I don't think the cocoa beans have a compressed form. So all of those I'll end up having to, having to remove. And I can filter those out to be removed anyway. Uh, I can filter all of that stuff by using the filters for the pipes. Uh, but for right now, that is what we are doing. So I have the lava going into the tank and it looks like we are definitely not producing enough lava. We're gonna have to do something about that. Um, but it looks like we're not quite using all of the power. Yeah, so if you have all of these machines, the auto packager, six, auto hammers, uh, three auto sieves, and the auto compressor, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, you're gonna need five magmatic dynamos if you're using lava. Uh, I also have it going into a quivet cluster, so we could possibly put one of the RF things on there, but I really don't. I wanna keep the power separate. Um, okay, so the auto compressor, I saw Scoop do this, uh, four ounce Scoop. Check him out, he's on YouTube, he's on Beam. Um, Twitch, and I think he streams on YouTube as well. So uh, I saw him do this and I thought it was really great. It was really kind of cool. Okay, so I have, if you notice here, I have it inserting the black. And remember the black channel is the cobble. I have this very, very low priority. So cobble is to go other places and then here if it's available. It is then putting it in here, then it gets compressed into like the compressed cobblestone. And then once that gets enough, then it does the double compressed and then so on and so forth. And so far I have three quadruple compressed cobblestone. Uh, so that's going to make it, that is so much easier. So what I do is I have it pulling out on the orange channel uh, whatever is over here, it pulls out on the orange channel, loops around and gets reinserted on the orange channel here. So that way it just keeps putting it back in on itself. I don't think it'll pull out the octuple compressed because I don't think you can go any higher than that. So if we look up cobble stone, uh, I think the octuple compressed is the highest we can go with that, but that would take like forever to get there. So it, that's, I'm not worried about that. And it doesn't seem like it's pulling uh, because I don't have any speed upgrades. It's not pulling it any faster than what it can really make it. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's how I'm getting my ores and stuff for now. 
Um, I am, I've just been collecting, chopping down a bunch of wood. I have been dealing with these. Once it gets to about this point, I've been opening the bags. I open them in here and then deal with the stuff. Um, most of the stuff has EMC, so I'm just doing that. Even if it has a, uh, let's see, we have 17 stacks so far, which is good. Uh, even if it has a quest involved with it, uh, but it has EMC like, uh, like the name tags. This does have EMC, but there is a quest. I'm just putting it in for EMC for right now, uh, because this we can do later. For right now, I really want to get EMC going. So, I think that is catching everybody up to date on what I'm doing, or what I've been doing. Uh, I know the this setup was kind of uh, maybe something I should have done on camera, but it's very similar to what I do. I just use different uh, machines normally. I do the um, these uh, automatic sieves because they have upgrades you can put in there, uh, but I'm not really looking for something to go super fast. Uh, just something to go. And we could probably put, I don't know what this means. Um, what is this? X compressium. So if we go X compressium, I don't know if that means to put in like other hammers. If we put in, I noticed the, the actual view of it changes. Like, see, she's not, it doesn't look like she's doing anything, but if I look at it, then she's doing it. So I think all of that goes away until you like look at it. Look at it. Uh, so, and I need to figure out a way to go ahead and automatically smelt these. So I'm going to have to make another smeltery, I think, or figure out a way. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, I haven't really thought this through. Maybe I'll just send it to like a, like a, a furnace and not worry about doubling the ores. Although doubling them would be really good. Is there a way to double them without? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uses. We only get single. Single. Uh, we can pulverize it first. Ooh, and there's a chance of getting extra L ore from it. This doubles it. Ooh, if we pulverize them and then smelt them in like a furnace. So if we add a pulverizer and a furnace to this setup, oh, I wouldn't have enough energy. Uh, let's see. This only has the maximum is 80. So like 18, like, uh, so if we used more than 30 RF a tick, we would need to add more. Oh, I'm going to have to do blazing pyrothium. All right. So if we do uh, pyrothium, uh, if we make this, we need a magma crucible. And a fluid transposer. Can we actually make this? Do we have sulfur? I don't think we have sulfur. We can get the this because I have an alloy smelter and sag mill now. Um, do we have sulfur? Sulfur? No, we don't. Uh... How do we get it if we don't have it? Pulverizer, induction smelter, sag mill. Um, we could do netherrack. That gives us a 15%. We only need one. Okay, we can do this. Nether. 
We only need one. Let's go. Uh, let's try them one at a time. Let's do a couple. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be so slow. <laughs> All right. So maybe we could just leave the stack in there and then pull it out once we get one. <laughs> there we go. 32 EMC and it only took us like five. Ah, we, we changed five EMC to 32 EMC. Hmm. Interesting. Noted. Uh, okay, so sulfur. And then uh, we need sulfur. I already had that, didn't I? Uh, we need redstone, blaze rod, redstone, and then we need pulverized coal. Coal. A L. Duh. Okay. Um, I'm having kind of a weird morning, so if I forget something, that's because I'm a little distracted, and I'm sorry about that, but. I decided to record because recording usually puts me in a better mood. So, yeah. Maybe that would help. All right. Oh, it doesn't have EMC. No. All right. Uh, we need four of them to get a bucket. And the bucket doesn't have EMC either. Okay. Obviously. Duh. Okay. So, we need uh, just, just the one or should we do oh, we're gonna need oh okay so if we need two of each thing for one bucket let's just do it under each one so we need eight buckets so we're gonna need 16 and we've already done one so we need 15 more of these do 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 click 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 Okay, 15 of those, uh, coal, 15 of these, I'm sorry guys, this is, this is painful, okay, uh, redstone and sulfur, right, one, two, 15, say 15, okay, and then sulfur, 15, Fifteen. All right, there we go. Uh, put those away. There we go. Thirty-two. Okay, now we are going to need to make a mag. Magic. No, a magma crucible. <sighs> we need a machine frame, nether bricks, invar gear, reception coil. I don't think I've made it. Let's do an energy cell. Okay, do we have the machine frame already made? No, of course not. What kind of gears do we have? We do have the invar gears done. Okay, so we are going to need tin. Iron. Uh, glass. You're going to need uh, lead, uh, redstone, we're going to need one of those, uh, and another bricks, we're going to need a couple of those. All right, so let's go ahead and make, you know what, let's make two of these. I will use one and put the other one in the table. Uh, I think this is how we do it for that that I am gonna have to copy because I don't want to make another one um, and uh, how do I make this again a uh, block of redstone uh, I bet you guys were yelling at me it's a block it's been so long since I made one of those things uh, there we go I don't normally use them just for like crafting the magma crucible and then I just don't ever think about it ever again. Okay, and then the fluid trans 
poser. Okay, so we need a machine frame, glass, a bucket, copper gears, and another reception coil. Okay, so we need a machine frame. We need a coil. We need copper. You'll never take me alive. Uh, and a bucket. I think that's it. Uh, copper gears, we're gonna need two, but I'll make three so we can copy it. Um, that's it. All right, awesome. So that can go back. Uh, we need a um, couple of conduits. We will then, I have stayed I was just saying I've stayed true to not having magnet mode on. Oh, now I need to go get some grass. All right. Uh, I don't know why, but I always feel like mach machines are going to explode. That really bothers me, and I don't know why. All right. So there we go. Like that. We'll go ahead and throw those in there. We need some buckets. We need eight of them to be exact. And we need two pieces of grass. <sighs> two pieces of grass. I have been good. Have not used magnet mode whatsoever. I have been a good girl uh, as far as that's concerned. And if you have watched any of my series, I always use magnet mode. So this has been kind of rough for me. <laughs> rough. Uh, we got a new puppy last night. She's a four month old German Shepherd. And uh, she's created a bit of drama in the house. I am not ashamed to admit that uh, it's, it's, it's a little rough, <laughs> so to speak. I need I need either blocks or buckets. You know what? Let's do buckets because we can always put them back in the thing. All right. Let's grab the lava out of there. We'll replace it with the pyrothium. I think the best way to do it maybe be behind this one. No. Oh, dang it. Um, We only need two buckets yeah <sighs> all right um let's do that there then that there Woo! i am so gonna be set on fire all right um that there then that there. Oh, I'm so afraid of being set on fire now. I don't know what my deal is. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh God, be set on fire. I'm so gonna be set on fire. Okay. Uh. I need to go back in that corner, and I'm gonna be set on fire as soon as I step on that. Okay. That there that there this right there and then this one right there oh gosh <laughs> it was right by my head I got scared <laughs> so we need some uh, covers or slabs you know what we'll take these covers back uh, okay let's take those back see no magnet mode uh, we need another mint block. Mint. I like the mint ones. They're kind of like a soft color. I don't know why I chose the white ones, but uh, let's put that one there. These are... getting set on fire because they're next to the blazing pyrothium and oh maybe even these need to be 
interesting. Maybe I should do that one over there too. Uh, the these conduits help keep them from being set on fire. Let's do let's do that one as well. And we may I may end up doing the rest of them just so it looks like you know uniform. Um, so that will if we take a look. Uh, now that makes the melting speed instead of two times, it's now seven times. So that will create more of a need for cobble. So we should put either make some speed upgrades. Oh, that wouldn't hurt. Um, yeah, let's do let's do that as well as get some more world interaction upgrades. All right, we're gonna need. A, four blocks of cobble or cobble four redstone and some nuggets okay and some gold so two of those and three of these will make the speed upgrades we'll go ahead and grab a stack I think that'll work and then the world will go ahead and grab a stack and I'll just take what was in there and pull those out so that way we just have a stack in there um, let's do that and that here we go that should have we should have no problems keeping that filled and that filled now uh, should not be an issue and this will uh, look at how much more lava we're getting now and how fast, how much faster it fills it up. So we should not have any issues. We could also add more magma, uh, magmatic dynamos and we could add a way to smelt these in the bars. If we're going to do that, then we might as well get one of the chests. Uh, and just turn everything into EMC that we possibly can and then I do I don't know what with everything that doesn't like the ancient spores and the cactus seeds I don't think we really need those two things um, we are going to need some ancient spores let me pull that out before I do anything with that uh, the exotic seeds are a quest, and so is the skystone dust. Sorry for anybody that doesn't want spoilers, but um, those are going to be needed for a quest. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave the head that at there. I didn't realize it was already 30, over 30 minutes. Holy cow. Um so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know if there's any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that. Uh, I am happy to hear them. Uh, that's where my wood went. Um, yeah, if it's any, you know, suggestions like make this quest easier, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Uh, it's supposed to be difficult. If it's a suggestion like, hey, this quest doesn't work, that's what I want to hear because I do want my, you know, quest book to actually work for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm also on Twitter. I've been tweeting out pictures of stuff like my mob farm. I tweeted that out. So people following me saw it a night before everybody else did uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, I also have tweeted out pictures from Project Ozone yesterday. Some funny things I thought uh, was kind of cute. So I may even tweet a picture of our new puppy. What? Uh, who knows? So be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.